Hey guys, Planet Everything here, and today I have a video on 3D printing spheres. So 3D printers are kind of a useful, are a great useful tool for prototyping and making different objects, but spheres is one thing that you would very much question a 3D printer's capability. So today, I 3D printed one of the larger spheres I have ever printed on my printer. Um, and this is a scaled down uh, replica, like 0 .0002 uh, scaled down replica of Jupiter um, because I wanted to put up the entire solar system around the light in my room. Um, just because I thought it looked cool, but it begs the question that I have actually had to ask a couple times before, which is, can a 3D printer print spheres? And the answer is kind of, um, kind of, kind of weird. It's kind of questionable because the larger you get, the larger your spheres are, the more likely they'll print and the better they will print. But the smaller they are, the less, oh, they're really bad if you get too small. Um, for example, um, if you're looking to try to maybe 3D print an Airsoft BB, it doesn't work. Take it from me, it doesn't work, and I broke two Airsoft guns because of trying that. So just don't, just don't even, don't even go there. It just doesn't even... You're not gonna benefit anything from that. It's just gonna, it's just gonna come back to bite you. Um, but anyway, you'll you'll be asked in whatever slicing software you have to 3D print some supports, and of course you should probably do that, or else you're just gonna get a blob. Um, but you can pretty accurately print a sphere. Um, now, this is layered extremely like this, but. You can very clearly see where the bottom is. Uh, and of course, if you wanted to uh, spend about two hours sand, sanding this down, you could get it looking pretty good. Uh, but at the same time, this is an indent. So the higher quality the 3D printer, the better these will print, these circles will print. I have a pretty high quality 3D printer. Um, and unfortunately, you're still gonna get situations like this where you have this horrible layering right here that just doesn't look good and it doesn't really work for a lot of things that you might be using a sphere for. As far as I'm concerned with, I just need it to hang there and look like a planet. And as far as I'm concerned, that works. Uh, this is Saturn actually, not Jupiter. And then I have a few other examples um, over here. Here is Mercury scaled down to the same scale factor as this one. Um, Mercury is a little itty bitty guy, but it is it is um, not even close to a sphere. I'm not gonna lie to you. It I don't even know how I'm gonna hang that up on the ceiling. I don't even know if it's worth trying. Um, this is the the size up uh, or Venus. It's not the size up, but it's Venus, and it doesn't look great. It's it's not great at all actually. This is like a little under 10 millimeters. And then surprisingly, um, surprisingly Mars worked pretty well. Um, Mars actually has a little bit of a, a little bit of an arrow shape at the bottom, but it's it's doing pretty good on the on the Mars. Um, on Earth, you start to see a little more of. Uh, a ball shape, and then when you move up to uh, Uranus and Neptune, you get pretty normal spherical shapes uh, such as these, but you will still get that problematic side, and it won't always look the greatest, but it will suffice um, to at least look like a ball. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also please share with your friends because you know, sharing is caring.